Hero Motor Corp has unveiled the all-new Charisma XMR, marking the back comeback of the Charisma brand after more than a decade. The bike has been initially priced at 1,72,900 rupees. The Charisma XMR will be powered by a 210cc engine and is Hero's first bike to be equipped with a dual-channel anti-lock brake system. My colleague Danish spoke to the CEO Niranjan Gupta at the launch event and began by asking him if the new model would help Hero become market leaders in the 250cc segment. Listen in to what he had to say. As far as premium is concerned, um, as we have spoken, our strategy is to build a full portfolio of premium products. You've seen us launching product after product in rapid time period. So we saw Extreme 164V. We saw launching the 200S Sports. We saw X440 Harley Davidson. We've seen Charisma. You will see more actions as you move through the next few quarters. Clearly, we are extremely serious about this segment. Our aim is to win in this segment. And, without, and beyond that, I would not be giving out any numbers, but clearly it's a meaningful market share that we are after. So the entire industry is currently suffering because of low demand in the rural yeah. area. And the same problem is also in the entry level segment. All the companies are feeling this pressure. How are things at your end and why, when do you see all the situation to get normal and do you think like with this pressure there will be some challenges for you to be the number one automobile company in the country? I don't think so. Uh, see, if you look at demand part of it, all the underlying economic indicators are trending positive. Inflation largely behind us. If you look at rate cycle, almost peaked. Uh, if you look at currency, by and large, stable, uh, as far as if you compare with other economies of the world, you see the capex spend over the last three years. Government capex is up to the tune of probably 20 lakh crores. Now, all these capex spend translate into employment, income, and then spending with a lag period of time. So we are not only really optimistic, we are actually sure that the demand at the entry segment is also going to come back. We've already seen demand translating at the middle and the upper premium segments. So therefore, it's a question of just percolating it down and it will soon be back. So would you be launching more entry-level entry level bikes or scooters and at the same time, can we expect a proper price reduction in that so that you can attract more customers? I think it's not a question of more products at the entry segment. Our portfolio is already strong. If you look at HF Deluxe, you look at Splendor, you look at Super Splendor, you look at Passion, we've got a full portfolio. We've got a bigger portfolio than anyone else in the industry. Equally, what we have learned is it's not a pricing game. People generally think that at the entry it's a pricing game. It's not a pricing game. People want to buy, if you look at any category even at entry, the highest selling model is the highest priced one. So that means people are not looking for the cheaper price. It's just that you have to make it more accessible. You have to probably make finance more accessible and then make sure that those customers need that is there translates into demand. Hey, all new Charisma XMR to hit the markets. Uh, that's from the auto space. For now, we'll slip into a break. Up next, we'll get you all the cues from the commodities market. Stay tuned for that.